Yes, today I am with the main man himself, CJ Lloyd Webley of the Black Pound Project. But there's more to CJ than the Black Pound Project. There's a lot more to him, and we're going to find out what that is all about today. CJ, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today, young brother. Thank you for having me. Absolutely inspirational, man. I remember the first time we met, you had a vision, Mm. and then I saw the vision taking shape from, from a distance. And then it's just taking these grown arms and legs, man. <laughs> that's, what get it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I'm just going to load up a few of my bits and bobs so I can, you know, if we get any comments in, I can make sure I'm on top of things. Mm. I.e. mobile phone, airplane mode, do not disturb, all them little things there. <laughs> How's your week going? How's your week going, man? You having a good week? My week? Yeah, you know, it's been been very, very busy. Like, I don't think I've ever been this busy in my life. And of course, you know, my background. Yeah, background yeah. is in, in theatre, so theatres are starting to open back up again. Okay, well, hold it there, sir. Because we're going we're to pull all that juice out later on about theatre and that. Because yeah, I've yeah. told people you're an actor, man. I don't know if I did the right thing saying that, but we'll, we'll find yeah, out more in a bit. So, CJ, can't even your name's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a word with my parents. Why don't you call me CJ? It's a cool name. Um, so what is the business? Tell us about the business. What is the business? What's it called? What's it stand yeah. for? So the, the Black Pounds Project. So I've actually got another business as well called Sorrow Park Theatrical, which is about going into schools and, and teaching young children at risk of maybe exclusion or uh, behavioural issues, how to um, engage with the curriculum in a, in a way that's, that's slightly different. So that, that's one of my businesses. But we're okay. talking about Black Pounds Project today. Um, so Black Pounds Project, so it's, it's hard to talk about the project without thinking about the, the journey so I, I my background is in in the arts so growing up I was always passionate about acting writing um well actually I, I became passionate about writing but that's a different <laughs> but, yeah I was passionate about acting yeah. and um you know when I went to university I recognized that you know when I was trying to audition for roles and things like that there just wasn't really anything that that there weren't any roles that you know catered for people that look like me so okay okay these roles and or maybe I felt like it wasn't for me um maybe who was directing it or who had written the play it just didn't seem like it was with, for people who looked like me so yeah. that's how I kind of got into writing because I was like okay well if I'm feeling like this there must be others so let me start writing plays that can cater to our people that oh, you know, wow, fantastic. from different backgrounds and, and ethnicities so um Fast forward, um, I work at the Birmingham Rep and when George Floyd was murdered last year, um, I looked out the window and I saw a sea of people kind of saying Black Lives Matter and, you know, we we want justice, we want peace. And I was thinking, well, yeah, uh, amazing. You know, this this is what we need. We need people coming together and, and you know, fighting for equality, fighting for inclusion. Yeah. Um, but what I, what I identified was... You know, I've I've seen protests before. I've seen this sort of thing before. Yeah. Um, and I, what I didn't want was, you know, for it to always take someone being shot or murdered, for us to have to come together as a community to think, yeah. actually, let's do something to to spiral this change. And yeah. Yeah. so, yeah, the, the the main difference about this protest though was that it was literally people from all different ethnicities and cultures. And yeah, yeah, because huge. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm working at the rep, it's literally like a sea, uh, you know, um, air view level. Yeah. So I could see and it just it just looked amazing. So for me, I was like, okay, I'm just going to put something out there. You know, big changes come from small change. This is what came into my head. Big changes come from small change. And then you're thinking about the actual money, literal change. But then you're also thinking about the actual changes that can be made from that you know small change if yeah. we all come together collectively Absolutely. So, I, so i put this out and i thought well what do i think about when i think about the black community i think about the the music i think about the you know the the food the rich culture and you know i also think about unity because when i think of the word black to me it's about a coming together of, of people yeah. so i was like okay I don't want, I, I don't necessarily have the answers. You know, I don't know what's going on with the business community, really. I, I know that I've been to my local soul food shop and sometimes they say they've got <laughs> and then they come back and tell me they ain't got it. And I'm just, 
Swirl food. <laughs> food. Hey, I've got some of that in a bit, you know, I've got some festivals yeah. downstairs and some hacky and salt fish. Uh, you know, I'm after to call them. I'm jealous now. Yeah, man. So, so, you know, this is these are narratives that I've heard growing yeah. up and just that black owned businesses are not not typically professional they're not reliable and you know you can go I, I mean I remember before lockdown I went to my bar my barber was inflating his prices before lockdown he was like, <laughs> and it was 10 pounds next week I went it was 20 pounds <laughs> my rent man up my rent man up I'm thinking Mate, buy some clippers man that's what I am <laughs> yeah yeah I've started doing it now I've started yeah, you, you know, the thing is you've got pretty hair so you can't cut your hair any old hair it's got to be cut right Whereas yeah. with me, I've got a simple head. So <laughs> when my hair grows, it grows like a like a very bad um, garden. <laughs> Take it off. I get his little yeah. landing patch right. <laughs> but, um, you got pretty hair, man. You, you you have to go to the barber. For now, for now, let's see. Get your own barber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was just it was just those sort of things, and I thought, okay, instead of thinking about it in a negative way, um, and think you know, oh, I'm not going to bother going to black businesses because this is the experience that I've had and many people have had. I thought there must be a reason, there must be a reason why, whether it's they're coming from, you know, different countries and not necessarily acclimatizing to the, the British way of doing things or yeah. whether it's just something that's been fed down generational that, you know, you can go on a break whenever you want, if you're self-employed and it's like, mm -hmm. so, you know something I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> pause, I'm gonna pause you there for a moment because I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, and I think it is a cultural thing because, uh, you know, you're Jamaican born, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. So you know how, what a business is like in Jamaica. Mm. It is very much, yo, go to 50 I'm home, yo. You know what mm. I mean? It, it, and, but, you know, it, for someone who's not from that culture to be in that culture and hear how people deal with each other, that could be quite intimidating to think, oh my God, what's going on here? Mm. But that's just how we the community or certain communities deal with each other that little kind of not raw but kind of like well i mean i do you have fear man i come yeah. to my shop i'm letting you in pm me you give me more and i think when you then try and translate that into a business over here that's where the difficulty starts because let's be completely honest in jamaica are there business schools are there places that the ordinary man can go and find out about how to run a business and customer yeah. service and all those things so I'm not just talking about Jamaica as, as, as an example. Yeah, just Caribbean as well. When you go into like a Caribbean food shop, mm -hmm. very, it is very much, yeah, man, I'm back yeah. in Kingston, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's what it's um, like. But, it, but it's just a case of, you know, if, okay, I put it this way. As long as you know that by operating your business like that, the, the opportunity or the potential for growth is probably going to be less so. Limited. You know, limited. limited. Limited, yeah. You're limited. So as long as that education and that awareness is, is made, that's fine. But there are businesses that may be operating like that and not understanding and maybe thinking, actually, I do want to, I do want my business to grow. I do want to think about a franchise. Um or, or just just accessing finance just to be able to paint my walls white or yeah. whatever it is. I um I worked for Yellow Pages for a number of years. Mm. I'm just waiting to see <laughs> if any, any tomatoes come flying at the screen. Sorry, someone had to work there, and um, I think some of it's mindset as well. I yeah. think, and that, this isn't just for the community. I think for some people, just earning enough is enough. Mm. you know yeah man i did 30 grand this year they're happy it's like yeah man i got to the pub every week or whatever that whatever their vice is mm. and they're happy with that and i think there's a kind of limitation on what people actually believe they can achieve yeah yeah if they put systems processes whatever in place and i think yeah. as well as being able to access the funding i think that's a big thing what people need to address in there mm. look you can earn a hundred thousand pounds a year and not yeah feel, not feel guilty for it yeah two hundred thousand if you want yeah you've got to think, think bigger yeah and it, it you know I guess to to kind of clarify what we do as a project, you know, it's it's about holding your hand. We're not kind of gonna we're not gonna do the work for you. I think that's that's the there's no substitute for hard work, and that's one of the first things we talk about in in our introductory calls. There is no substitute for hard work. You've got to be prepared to put the work in. We want you to bombard us with with stuff that you've yeah, done. Question, stuff yeah, 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 question yeah. us. You know, yeah. ask us how you can do this, how you can do that, but we will we can give you the responses but you're going to then have to go away and, go, and work go, go and and so your mentor your coach or your advisor is just there to kind of guide you through that process as opposed to 
you know, there are people that, that you can pay to really give you that practical hands-on support. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and be with you every step of the way to, to, um, you know, realize that with you, you know, and, and you can, like I say, when money's involved, it's a, it, a different relationship can be, can be born. But what we want to do is, is kind of use the people in these organizations that we've been able to connect with, whether it be British Business Bank, NatWest, Santander, um, the funding scale up businesses, um, who else? Midlands Business Leadership Academy. You know, if, if we can tap into all the resources, because, yeah, yeah. because what a lot of people think is and, and what i've learned is that people say oh well that organization is not helping me an organization is just a brand yeah. you know you have to find people in those organizations that have the that same the yeah that's, that's it yeah that's yeah. it so what what we've done is what i well what i've done is uh, um through the black pines project is is go to those organizations but not say can your organization help me i say who in your organization would be interested in supporting yeah, this Boom. project which Boom. is doing x y and z yeah. that way they say oh yeah absolutely there's so and so and so and so so yeah, then yeah. I, I form it, a report it, it, yeah that's it yeah laser, it's laser focused isn't it it's um yeah. you know it, what's the saying in sales you know define the man find out who the man is that's it money what's the other one money and need money and need yeah man the man but obviously in your case it's who's the decision yeah. maker who has got an interest in this part you know of of, of the community who's got their hands on that budget which is for that part of the community and and, and absolutely on a, on a bigger level what people do they send the letter um to the hr you know to the, to the head of <laughs> yeah. and then when, when the head of doesn't write back their decks it's like, oh, yeah. right, we don't care and, and the reality is they haven't dug deep enough you've mm. got to scratch and get get right yeah. underneath you've actually answered the second question actually which was what mm. inspired you which obviously black lives matter yeah. Um, huge, huge thing. I mean, you know, I'm not going to tell you my age, but in my lifetime, I've never what? seen anything like it. Um, what, inspired, uh, what inspired me is the fact that this is something that I've constantly been fed since yeah. a child. That black businesses are not this. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. thinking, but that doesn't make sense to me. Why? 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 I'm always yeah. thinking about the why. As a writer, yeah. it's about why am I writing this? People ask you, why have you written that story? What yeah. is it about? So when I translate that to the business community and I see people in these meetings just like saying, oh, we're not accessing this and there's no access to that. I'm thinking, well, but what are you doing yeah. to help other people? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. if you're in if you're in this situation, go and find people that are in this situation also. This is my perspective. Like, Go and find people that are aligned to your values and, and yeah. have that conversation, but think about how you can practically resolve this. Yeah. You know, I, as a black British playwright, who was going to pave the way for me? You know what I mean? I had to, I had to find a way, and I experienced a lot of rejection. I lived in London, and and um, you know, I got rejected from like twenty entry level roles. You know, as someone who has a, a degree in theatre, who who has a master's degree in in creative writing for screen and playwriting, I got rejected from 20, 20 second interviews when I was in London. So, you, know, so, you know something else, EJ? I, I truly believe, you know, and I'm not just saying this, they, mm. this is, you know, this is the beginnings of you. Mm. You are going to be in lights. I think there's a lot of people going to watch this and go, CJ, what's, what's he written? What's he <laughs> where, where is he from? So don't worry about the, 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 the kind of being the trailblazer. You are, you are the trailblazer. You're the trailblazer for the next generation as well. You know, you're that something different to a rapper or or all the other stereotypes that we some some of the young people look to and say, yeah, man, that's what's, that's my inspiration. Mm. So most well, certainly, man, you're, you're, you're like mm. <laughs> absolutely. So, um, what have been some of your challenges in setting up the Black Pounds project? I know you got there's a lot of moving parts that you've had to kind of bring together. Yeah. What's been the um, what's been like the challenges for you? The, the I'd say the number one challenge initially was they call it imposter syndrome. I call it, <laughs> I call it more not having a clue what, what having a clue what you're trying to do. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, mate, listen, man, we, all, we all get a little bit of imposter syndrome every now and again. Yeah. Like, hey, should, should, should I be driving this car? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, know. Well, my, my, I guess for me, it was imposter syndrome because I, I remember I set up the organisation because I wanted to meet people who had the answers. Yeah. But then I realised, actually, yeah. nobody has the answer. So not one answer. They're, they're looking to me for the answer. They're looking to me to 
you know, these these big corporate people, you know, I did when I was speaking to organizations, I wasn't I wasn't kind of going to the entry level people. Yeah, yeah. They were just sending me straight to the top because it was yeah. very topical yeah, yeah. thing that we'd created. Yeah. You know, um, so for me it was very much like, oh, I'm speaking to so and so the 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 um the director of British Business Bank or or wherever it is, I'm thinking, I don't belong there. Like I don't know what I don't know what equity and all them I know about it more now, but at the time I'm literally thinking, I just want to put on plays, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I got no business being here, but then I realized they were actually those like they were they're, they're as clueless as, as what they yeah. what, what you thought yeah. you was. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking, actually, I'm not an imposter. I yeah. um, there's something that you've said there which really resonates with me. I mm. remember uh, there's somebody I follow online, and uh, he does quite a lot of coaching with real high level, you know, PhD type people. People mm. who, when they speak, we don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> uh, but the problem they have is that they can't communicate their message to others. So he actually helps those people. And when he goes and speaks to them, because he speaks in layman's terms, mm. and they, they they actually look at him and go. Oh my god that's so simple mm -hmm. of course so what i think his motto is i teach i i show clever people the mm. answers wow I don't, well i don't kind of go there telling them i'm going to do that they just i just talk to them yeah lay things out and then they're like so that's what's happened man you've gone into these places they've not I, if you think about it you know some of these guys at the top levels of these businesses mm. it's been a long time since they've been on the road mate it's been a long time since they've even encountered soul food what's that yeah. what, what's, yeah. what's, what's this hacky and this saltfish stuff <laughs> I mean, it's all very new so uh, but so you going in there and, and kind of sharing that vision of what you're doing is all it's, it's, it's mm. delightful to hear because it means that they can you know these guys these people want to do something and you're right because they don't know what to do they don't know how yeah. to reach someone like you going in and being that conduit and saying well look yeah this is how this is how we can set it up and how it will but work yeah so it, i guess it's worth saying there's there's organizations that are, that are government funded to support businesses yeah um so i mean if i think about the british business bank you can't go directly to the british as far as i'm aware you can't go directly there to to get finance for your business yeah. they they have organizations that sit underneath it so yeah. financial networks yeah. that yeah. they give money to to then support yeah. business yeah. owners filter that. that's it so they feel they filter it out so when you're thinking about um accessing finance yeah. you know those organizations are saying well we've got we've got you know millions of pounds but if black business owners aren't accessing it what, what are we supposed to do if it, it, it's down to marketing and it's down mm. to how hard are these people trying to get into these communities you know i, I, I don't really want to slate anybody online but there's mm. there's an organization which was funded by european money yeah. and i remember coming across them once at a network meeting and they, they had all this money to give yeah. to businesses in the community but they hadn't actually gone out into the community they were trying to do it remotely yeah nice flyers Mm. nice flyers on a bus shelter yeah no one was actually going down there and going into a community center right who's all the businesses that support you who yeah you need to speak to who are the movers and shakers within this town yeah i need to speak to to get other people on board and the town was bilston yeah um mm. and they actually asked me to do it <laughs> go into the town but, but, I, but i was like hold on mate you've got this big pot of money mm. your big wages yeah and you can't be bothered to go and speak to the people that you want me to go and do for on your behalf <laughs> like, nah, nah. yeah. go get your hands dirty man mm. those people appreciate you more going in as the kind of i've got no idea but me going saying yes this is here because yeah you know they the, the community has to see but look you can have this yeah you know what i mean and they need to be giving it from the people that they think won't give it them <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah. get your hands dirty that's what i say get your hands dirty um, but the message, the message just ain't getting out. It's got to get out more. It's got to be more robust. They've got to have maybe have ambassadors mm. you know, for some of the areas. And you know, if you look at Birmingham as an example, there's, there's loads of, of, of businesses there, mm. Bain, Bain businesses there. Yeah. Um, and many say, well, what support are they getting? You know, um, yeah. what 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 messages, what knowledge are they being given about funding, about expansion, about all these things? And mm. you know, you kind of think, well, are they? Well, that that's that's the issue, and and I guess that's where we're positioning ourselves at the moment because, you know, we're we're saying look, so we we directly support the businesses, we, we provide mentorship, and we provide our startup course as well. 
for business owners to kind of get more of a grasp on what what their business is and then we can you know point them in the direction of yourself who can help them a bit, bit a little bit more on that but the other strand of our business is 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 going to these organizations that are claiming to not be able to access the community and say look it doesn't matter how much you package that how many black people you put on your posters <laughs> how many stock photos you, you, you want to put on canva you know <laughs> we ain't coming <laughs> you can, you can. <laughs> the thing is though you've got to go across you know look man there's so many different angles that you can go at yeah. a community you, yeah. you can go at it from and you know even sitting here you i think you, you could have a, a real proper advert showing a real yeah. proper um you know um so of caribbean talking some mm. patois say yeah man <laughs> we've got a shop and this has got this amiga, this amiga, and then, again someone see that they'll be like oh what's this yeah. then here then here it'll be like oh um african community you know go into those communities get get those people as your mm. ambassadors for your products and services so people take notice Marketing, AI, AIDA, ADA, attention, yeah. interest, desire, action. How are they getting those people's attention? Mm. They aren't, you know, never. Mm. Do you know the problem is as well, though? And this is what I've recognised. They are not, unless you are registered for, let's say, one to two, you know, one, two years, you're turning over a decent amount. They're not, they don't want to, so... So they can they can put posters out. They can put their stock photos on Canva and put some posters out into all the black owned groups on Facebook, and people probably would approach them because yeah, yeah. like, oh, that's for me now. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. makes you know they would approach you, but you don't want them because they're not at the point where you feel like you can actually benefit from yeah. what they you know you don't don't want to invest in in that. Like you say, the 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 lady who's who's set up a little kind of festival company or yeah, someone who's yeah. doing their books or or whatever you know like a little folder to there's a, cer there's a certain size of business that, they wanna, yeah. and you know something i'm, I'm glad you've said that because there's another organ i'm not even going to mention names today mm. but there's, there's another organization which i feel is very much the same yeah in that unless you're a certain if you join our club yeah. <laughs> you've got all these wonderful meetings but <laughs> unless you're a certain size you, you you seem to be like kind of locked out which is really weird and that's not just a, a, you know businesses of color that's businesses full stop yeah. unless you're a certain size of business mm. so what about growth what about helping companies grow what about helping them to invest what about teaching them about the aspects of their business they're not sure about because yeah. the reason a business won't grow is because the business owner is self-employed if it's just him maybe and his wife he can only learn what he can learn mm. he's got to run his business so it takes strangers to come in and say, well, have you done this? No. Have you done that? Yeah. No. Have you done it? No. Yeah. Don't talk to me about that. You know, this is where that kind of, you know, the investment and, and the help and support should go in, yeah. in helping those acorns become oak yeah. trees. Yeah. And, and I think what, what we do as a project as well is we help, we help business owners understand where they're at because yeah. we, we go through it. So once we get the application through on the, from the website, or if you call, you know, we'll go through <laughs> very basic questions. Yeah. Who's your business? You know, what what is your business? What do you do? Because a lot of people, you know, there's been a couple of people that that have said their business is one thing, and then that that, you know, one guy said that he was setting up a, a health and fitness uh, organization, but he was doing he he was he was truck he was doing like removals. But I'm saying, <laughs> what's, what's your business then? Is it the room? Yeah, that's the fitness carrying the boxes, man. <laughs> but if that's the angle, if that's the angle, fitness, fitness deliveries. So. <laughs> you know, I run down the path that's to one table. I mean, fitness oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> that's hey, listen, niche. <laughs> <laughs> right, see there. Look, I was going to check to see if we've got any comments coming. Because, mm. um, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's really deep, man. But I'll tell you what, man. Very impressive. Oh, we had a, about a few comments coming, right? Mm. We've got on. So, uh, Gila, good morning, Gila. Back a shayesh. <laughs> Boom. See, I can say your name now. <laughs> I've been practicing all week. Um, absolutely, absolutely mental slavery to what racism has created internally. Absolutely love what you're saying. Imposter syndrome. I am entrenched in that right now. Hey! Gila, get out of that imposter syndrome. You better give me a call, man. You ain't no imposter. You are a leader and a legendary Persian uh, chef. Mm. So get rid of that imposter syndrome, man. 
Um, Gina, man, she's on it. Reading about the Black Pies project online now, my brother-in-law would qualify if he lived in Brom. Is there anything equivalent to what you do in the black community in the Manchester area? Unfortunately, <laughs> you're not going to find it. So we, you know, part of what we're going to do is we're really trying to roll this out now because, you know, we've had lots of people apply from different regions, yeah. London, Nottingham, Bristol. We, we, we've got to grow. We, yeah. We've got to grow at the pace at which uh people the need the need I, 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 yeah i mean i think you need to because i mean you you imagine i mean you know, i don't know how many applications you had yeah um no. but i mean to get to the number you've got to now i would imagine that you you're probably in excess of, it's going to be three figures and above mm. i would imagine mm. in terms of applications mm. uh, which shows there's definitely a need and mm. it's it's it could be that some of these organisations need to really put some money down and say, well, look, let's, let us help you expand at the same time. They do, but what, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say, though, that the issue is that they're not interested in micro businesses. You know, they don't care about a business that has not been trading for, for at least a year and is turning over a certain amount of money. Yeah. So then I'm saying, well, if the government is funding you to support businesses, how do you get to specify yeah. the criteria by exactly. which you support them? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then they're getting their back up saying, well, we do support, we do support, we signpost. And so signpost Because <laughs> I remember, I'm coming as a, as a, as a black startup myself. Yeah. yeah. So, so you I, know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so I'm saying, well, you're telling me signpost people to you, but I know that you don't support those type of businesses. So, yeah. and I know that I'm a startup and I haven't received that support from yeah, you exactly, either. So, exactly. so, so what are you saying? And then they get their back up and then it's like, okay, we've touched a nerve. So we know we need to go to the government and say, look, Stop playing. <laughs> like, well, 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 that's the thing. Man. We need to miss out these guys who are getting yeah, yeah. funding because at the end of the day, it's going to be... Look, man, you know... Look, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> anyway, Gila! <laughs> uh, so true, just short, falling short of qualifying. Uh, damn, wishing I was black. <laughs> hey, come on, girl. <laughs> what's, what's, um, what, who was that, sorry? Uh, Gila, Gila. She's, a, she's Iranian. So she's, oh, wow. she's, she's black. Well, interestingly... Uh, uh, and, this, and she actually says this is the problem no interest in micro businesses yeah. so and you're right there is a, a section of businesses that have to kind of do it themselves and figure yeah. it out themselves you know there's no one swooping in to kind of help them with the narrative that they're, that's playing out in their heads and um you know what you're doing man is fantastic and, and i really really hope that you can grow it to the point that you're i mean how many how many uh, companies are you going to be supporting now what's your first intake uh businesses so we've got eight people on the mentorship scheme because this is the pilot because we really yeah. need to just flesh that out, get the process yeah. smooth. Yeah. And then, you know, once we once we roll this one out after, I think, yeah, next three to four months, yeah. then start looking at the next cohort the next and we can, can really ramp that up to like, say, 20, 20 businesses. Oh, that'd be fantastic. I mean, I suppose the more you can get through, the more that you can send out the other side, you were like, yeah. oh, gosh. The, it just it becomes a natural growth and becomes a and, snowball yeah know. and that's what i'm saying to the when i'm in these meetings they're saying well you know bame business owners they're, they're not engaging i'm saying no they are engaging they are engaging they do want support yeah. but, but what you need to do is stop trying to resolve the issue yourself and yeah. actually work with organizations that are that, that are um, front facing man that's it so I, I i can't i can't say any more than that like we're here we're doing the work because there is there is a number of there are a number of business support um, organisations in Birmingham, yeah. and you know it's it's it's, it's a strange one. But I, I think you're gonna I think you are gonna set a cat amongst the pigeons, mate. Mm. I, I really do think that you're I poking think, you're poking that hornet's nest, man. So I think where we're where, where we're different is we we're not we're not charging because what happens is I think a lot of people have this um, may have this vision of they want to set up an organisation to help a minority community so in our case it's the black community yeah. um and they'll say that and they'll go with the right intentions they'll set up yeah. the cic and they'll say yeah i want to support black businesses i'm going to get people to mentor and coach and yeah and then before you know it they're like no one ain't investing in what i'm doing so i'm just going to charge the business owners and say yeah you're getting all this so you can pay 50 pound membership fee to be a part of this i think there's definitely a time and a place for that i don't think it can be directly within the CIC structure no, to no, charge the businesses no. that you're, because it's a social mission. Exactly. Your social mission is to, is to, is it's to a community inspiration. It, you know, it. So it is about the community. It's not about yeah. anyone trying to make money and say, yeah, man, why have a little business, me, I make cheer. That's it. No, no, no. That's it. Um, 
Okay. Oh, uh, Jason Daly says hello. Oh, hi. Hey, 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 Rick Owen. Thanks for joining us. Um, and Gila says it's a classical lack of grassroots awareness. Absolutely spot on. It mm. really is. The thing is, you know, I've worked with businesses for a long, long time, and ninety-two percent of them. Yeah. go to no business school or get no business qualification yeah. or get no marketing qualification maybe yeah. says you know something i'm good at this and i'm going to run a business yeah um and some of them have had some very 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 successful businesses some of them have had some very very successful businesses and still didn't know how they were successful because it was like working for yo you asked a lot of questions i remember going to this one gentleman's house beautiful house yeah. his and hers uh range rovers outside well where do most of your leads come from Ooh. <laughs> okay so where do you have she told me all the places it was about 10 different places i mm. said to him well if you knew where, which one worked the best you could probably cut back on some of the others yeah yeah oh, it's all right as it is so i'm thinking mate you could save you two thousand pounds yeah. a month here that's but great anyway anyway so um cj i'm a man of secrets but i like secrets <laughs> I, I, like, I like i like to kind of dig dig deep dig deep um tell us one thing about you that not many people know about. Mm. Don't say, don't tell me something that your parents will cuss you about. But, you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> say, say, save your soul, brother. Save your soul. <laughs> Anything else goes. <laughs> Why don't people? Don't... I think. So a, I guess there's a couple of routes I can go down. Um, we. So I'm a musician. I yeah. I, I play piano as, as well. Yeah. Oh no! Wait a second. Stop! 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 stop. <laughs> But you're a writer. Yeah. You act, I'm assuming you act as well. Yeah, yeah. And you're a musician. Yeah. He just says it's all blah, like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> mate, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's, I think because of, cause I'm, I'm on this social mission now. Yeah. Um, it's more like a, I guess I just play really for recreation. I just, you know, I tried to, I, I set up like a um, music ad academy sort of thing last year yeah and we were in the first lockdown because a lot of people were saying i want to play piano i want to yeah. you know do some music and i was like i tried to do it but it's just not the same over zoom and it's it's just like it became a bit of a chore so for me i just I've, I've, I've kind of like the piano thing for me um and and the bass guitar stuff that's more just recreation now for me and if i'd have known you know i'd have got you to do a little ditty then before we started <laughs> is, the, is the piano in that room yeah yeah it's here man Oh, yeah, give, me, give, me, give me a little ding ding ding. Give me a little. I have, to move, I have to move the whole thing over. Oh, there. oh, 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 oh. Tell you what, we're, gonna, time, hey, we're, we're gonna get a part two, man. So <laughs> uh, on part two, we're gonna have a little bit of music. You, just, cool. you, know, you deserve your own theme tune. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so start, start putting something together, man. Something nice that fits you. Um, and anything else you want to tell us? Anything else that um, I. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll get you on part two. So, um, so what advice? So, so, you know, you've come across a lot of startups, a lot of new businesses. You know, what advice would you give somebody looking to start a business mm. right now? Someone today who's heard what you've got to say, thinks, you know something, I, I like what this guy's saying, I'd like to start my own business. What, what advice would you give that person? Um, first and foremost, I'd say... I always say validate the need for the business that you're trying to set up. So, you know, you can look in all the black black owned business groups on Facebook now and you can see what what is a very common business. You know, what what are people just, you know, whether it's a, a I don't know, a can let's say it's a candle business. You know, why do you want to set up this candle business? Always always validate the need for the why because you know, I was speaking to an amazing guy called Lewis Barnett and and one thing I learned from him was that a lot of people try to set up businesses based on logic. But yeah. people buy into emotion. So, you know, when I'm telling my when I'm writing my plays, I always think, how am I trying to make the audience feel about yeah. what I'm writing here? So, you know, and 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 it's about don't necessarily set up the business just for one particular community. So yeah. you don't want to just set up candles because you want it, you want the black community to 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 um buy your candles. Like every, you know, anyone can relate to candles. Like That's find a way candles. that that everyone or yeah, if it is you're trying to find a niche, it's still there can still be different communities that that fall into that niche. So yeah. just valid validate why it is that you you want to set the business up. But I'd always say 
you know, if you're passionate, then that's that's always the, the go to, you know, business running a business is not the passion, like, for, in my opinion, it's what you're running is that yeah. is passion. Yeah, so, absolutely. No, you know, yeah, I mean, running a business is hard work. Yeah, it's hard yeah, work. It ain't yeah. easy. And um, that's why you get other people involved and you, mm. know, you get other things done for you. But it ain't easy, but it's more fun. Yeah. You get the rewards because it's down to you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's down to you. Really? Um, anything else? Any other tips you want to share? Yeah, so I'd, I'd just say always connect. Um, and some people don't know how to network sometimes, you know, because people say, you know, networking, networking, you always have to network. But networking is not going to someone and saying, hi, I sell this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how many network meetings you've been to, man? Uh, yeah. And how many people have approached me with that? With yeah. that sort of thing? I, I sell this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what can you give me? Yeah. And it's like, for me, I, I always found what, what's useful is to actually try and get to know the person that you're trying to connect with. Yeah. Like, go, go a customer at a time. Because if yeah. you can get one customer to vouch for you, then that person can vouch for the next person. So, Always got a customer at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I, I said that to someone yesterday. Just one customer at a time, yeah. man. Because that one customer, if you put all your love and focus on that person and make them feel like mm. amazing. That's it. They're not just become a customer. They're and speak to Nigel them. as well. <laughs> That's what I'm <laughs> speak to Nigel. Oh, okay. That's what I'm telling all gonna tell my all my business owners that come to me. Speak to Nigel. Oh bless! Oh thank you, man. You know something? My my my, um, my calendar man, he's gone crazy the last couple of weeks. I'm blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got time to myself. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drag one more tip out of you, man. The only reason I'm doing this though, because I know you've spoken to a lot of businesses. Recently, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, give us one more one more juicy tip. Um, stop focusing on accessing finance. It, finance is not the problem. Like finance is is so a startup loan. Yeah. If you have no, literally no capital to to kind of, for example, if it was the candles to to get the wax and the molds or whatever, yeah. that's what it should be for. But yeah. first, you should have validated the need for it and know that you've got some customers lined yeah. up. Yeah. You know, because otherwise you're just getting that loan on on like a, I'd say it's a misinformed um, risk. You know, and, and, it's, and it's easier then to spend that money not on the candle wax. That's it. Yeah. Say, yeah. Wow, look at me little shoes. I look good. That's it. That's <laughs> the it. Business don't go anywhere. I mean, you still owe money. So always focus on 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 the actual business you're trying to set up, as opposed to accessing all the finance. You know, people on our mentorship scheme, a lot of them are. You know, they're getting a lot of customers. They're getting. Yeah. They're, they're, they're um, they are. You know, there's a lady called Cleo. She won't mind me mentioning, but she's got a few cafes that she's she's distributing to in Ball, and it's she's now saying, you know, I wanna, I want to get a premises to um this is, this is clear from oxford isn't it yeah 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 <laughs> she, she, she wants she wants she wants i'm gonna have to connect you to because I, I keep forgetting to but um she wants to uh chat with you you're one of the people she wanted to chat to so she's um, um honestly the 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 the, the, the mm. kind of the mentees i mean you know there's a lady there is it Chris, christiana christiane yeah um and her business i mean and, yeah. and to be fair you know, anyone who's watching this, go on, go to um, CJ's LinkedIn. There's a video on there of me interviewing yeah. this lady. You know, she's got a business which is doing five figures, <laughs> and the first number doesn't begin with anything less than four. Yeah. So, and but she knows that she can go bigger, better. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that's the thing. It's so beautiful to kind of watch when someone has has removed them yeah. scales of kind of that's limitations it. of this. Where can I go with this? That's and definitely somebody worth but she's competing she's competing with with the likes of asos pretty yeah. little thing like yeah, they're going to help people their ideas yeah, so that's what i'm saying but her there's, there's a couple of things she can do I mean, obviously we'll, we'll speak yeah 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 her. there's a couple of things i think she can do which would yeah. really kind of separate her and she doesn't i don't think she realizes that power that she mm, has so, at the moment yeah at the moment but, um, but as well i was just going to say the, the idea is that these amazing mentors that we've got there it's all about okay we've got you know we've supported you on this journey now you need to feed that back yeah to, to yeah. the community as well yeah. and people that are coming through and you know. creates that snowball effect of it, people yeah. coming through. Um, okay um we've just got we had a few more comments coming g lap oh my god so am i cj what was that oh, in and i was she and, and she's also a singer i don't know what the song oh, was. Pianist. <laughs> pianist. Is that what yeah, it is? Are you? 
You never told me that, <laughs> Leela. Um, she asked, do you know Frederick Wisdom, Barnier Theatre Company? Frederick, no, no. Are they in Midland? Where are they based? I think that, I, I don't know, actually. I'm sure Frederick's from Wolverhampton. Just get, just get her to connect with me. I'll, I'll chat uh, to her. Yeah, connect. Can you hear that? Connect with yeah. CJ, Gila. Just um, send him a message and you guys speak. Thanks yeah. for joining us, Mike. Um, oh, she says, I know from experience. Definitely worth speaking to Marge. Yeah, Nigel, like, Nigel's the guy. Nigel I, is I, the guy. Gila, I'll, I'll send you that £10 later on. <laughs> um, right. Um, is there anything that the people watching mm. can help you with right now? Okay, so you can. Oh, that's a good question. I'm not used to asking people what that what I work. Well, usually that's, <laughs> that. man, that's what it's yeah. all about, man. It's all about you. So you can you can if you want to support the Bat Pounds project, you can sign up to the uh, monthly just giving pet no monthly donor um option, which is on our website. I know Nigel is supporting us through that as well. I'm also putting my own money into this uh, organization because I believe in it so much. Um, you can go that route if you want to donate. You can also uh, go onto the website and you can you can um, select if you want to be a if you'd like to come on board as a mentor or receive mentorship training on how to do that. We've got an amazing lady called Sue Bedward who is a who runs a, an academy about trading business mentors and to get accreditations through that as well so oh wow yeah yes yeah i remember she's very very good yeah she's amazing so so definitely if you if you're interested in in supporting other business owners come on board as a as a mentor and we can also signpost you as a coach or, a, or an advisor as well so always looking for people who are interested in business to get involved and of course if you are a business owner definitely sign up we have an amazing startup program which is in uh association with asset consultancy and they are brilliant in what they do. So there's a five-day video series that you can go on straight away if you want to um, go on the website and check that out. Fantastic. So, CJ, what I'd like you to do is, obviously, when we finished, I want you to go and get all your links, man. Mm. Gather all of them links together, mm. all of the bit of information that you need to explain the links, and I want you to drop it in the comments. Brilliant. All of it. Don't put a line and say, yeah, man, I'm done. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Black yeah. Pants Project, the donation page, the, the the video series, where people can connect with you. Yeah. So it might be that there's people now watching this thinking, I wonder if CJ would write a play for me. Yeah. C commission, they call it commission, isn't it? I wonder if I can give you some commission. <laughs> I'm also, also going to set up a, um, the few people have been asking me, because there's a lot of screenwriting and playwriting competitions coming out. So I'm yeah. doing a series to help people um, understand the formula behind writing a play and the difference wow man seriously man i can't i can't wait to, i can't wait to watch some of your pub you know your 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 creations come to life on tv the big my story. next play my next play actually is on at the Birmingham rep on the what oh, let me get this date because i don't want yeah, to because the date changed because i had it in my i had it in my yeah, calendar yeah. and then obviously yeah. lockdown and now and the 20 on the 27th of may um till the 29th of may so there's two there's two performances on the 29th yeah. and there's one performance on the 27th and one on the 28th so that, that needs to go in the comments as well man. <laughs> <laughs> put it all in yeah. i want you to write a novel take, take half an hour <laughs> just put it all scribe it all down and then just copy paste bish bash bush but, yeah, um, honestly just let, make, make sure that people can get hold of you and follow you because mm. uh you know you've done um you're doing a great job uh, like I said this morning, you're a man with a big plan mm. and uh, it's good to see, you know, it's good to be part of and, and witness the kind of trajectory that you've got right now and, and what you're doing. So thanks for joining us today, man. Um, everybody you. watching, thank you for joining us today. Oh, Small Business Saturday referenced you today too. Me? Oh, I don't know. Me, me, Gila or, or CJ. Small Business Saturday. Oh, <laughs> guys thank you for joining us if you are watching this on replay hashtag replay i will be creating the prize that i keep promising people who watch the video that i'm going to give you uh, i'm going to be creating it this weekend i've got a few things that you can have um but i'll be contacting you all separately through messenger thanks for joining us please if you do want to speak to cj just just connect with him the guys the guys cool it's cool man <laughs> I mean, just, just trying to follow you, man. 
it'll uh, it'll guide you in the right direction and you know you know if there's, if, if there's, if there's support and guidance that you want to be um, part of in terms of helping the black pants project to you know just, just get involved get involved um who am i interviewing next week in fact i'm not even sure so i'm going to go now but Guys, thanks for joining us. Guys and girls, thanks for joining us. Um, hashtag replay. If you are watching the replay, you'll get a prize. Gila, thank you so much for joining us, darling. You have been a, a brilliant audience participant. Uh, thank you, Mike, for watching. Jason Daly, always good to hear from you, Jason. Uh, and then anybody else who's watching, thanks for watching on replay. TJ, don't go anywhere, man. We're going to okay. stop the stream now. See you later, people. See y'all later. <laughs>